If you're having trouble prioritizing what to focus on in order to achieve your business building goals, this video is for you. And if you're new here, I'm Lydia Lee. I help new entrepreneurs to create their dream business without struggling with self-doubt, overwhelm, and complicated strategies. So if you wanna learn how to design a business that's gonna be coming from your strengths, your values, and your personality, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to tune in for videos just like this one. So last week, I recorded a video for you all about how you can increase your productivity by using theme days and time blocking, especially if you're working a full-time job and finding that your attention span and your focus is spread everywhere. So don't forget to go to that video. If you haven't watched it already, I'm gonna put it in the cards and the description so that it's gonna help you actually implement what we learned today. Now this week, I'm gonna talk a lot about once you get those time blocks ready in your schedule, how are you gonna be using those time blocks in an efficient manner so that you're really focusing and deciding on the right actions to take to really make progress for your business, right? Decision-making is one of the most important tools as a business owner. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you first, what are the three powerful questions that you need to be asking yourself before planning your day, before you start to get busy, uh, so that you can really prioritize your energy that you would be spending on your business. And I'm gonna be walking you through a tool that I'm gonna give away that you can download. It's called my One Page Daily Activity Planner. I'm gonna walk you through how to use that so that you can really maximize the value of your time that you're spending in your business and you're gonna feel like you're actually making traction and making progress with your business goals. So what's the problem most people have regarding time management? People think busy equals to value. People think that a perfectly scheduled calendar equals value. People are multitasking, going back and forth between multiple things, believing this is effective. The point isn't about managing the time and your calendar itself. The point is making sure that the container of time you block off is filled with the most important activities that are going to drive your business forward. People can't see how everything they're doing is leading to something. Now they have big goals, but no roadmap to get there. They invest a lot of energy on many things, ultimately getting nowhere. Or focusing on too many areas at once instead of getting wins in one area and then moving on. Does it sound familiar? Therefore, time management isn't the goal. Energy and activity management are the goals. It starts with one of the most important skills that any entrepreneur can acquire, better decision making. To help me make better decisions on how to spend my time, I like to ask myself objective questions to help guide me whenever I have to choose where I should be spending my time, my energy, and my effort. So these questions help me say yes, or more importantly, become confident in saying no. Instead of relying on productivity hacks to optimize your to-do list, try asking these questions to filter out what's needed and what's not, and see how that stops you from hustling all the time with busy work. Question number one, does the activity fit with my life vision and my goals? Are the activities you're setting for yourself today, weekly and monthly, leading you towards your goals or distracting you from them? Of course, it is important to have balance in your life. We need social time, personal time, and time to focus on our business goals. It's also important to have a reality check on why your business is very much important to the quality of your life in the future. What you're building today is what you get to reap the benefits of tomorrow. Now, it's easy as humans to be tempted to go for short-term pleasures rather than long-term gain, but we have to use the power of constraints as a tool to help us do what we need to do today to have more in the future. Think about things you may do less of in order to have more time with your business as an exchange, not a sacrifice. You are simply exchanging an activity in your schedule that used to be important to you, but now using that time for something more important for your future. When you look at what you're actually spending your time doing daily, weekly, and monthly, the question of does that activity fit with my life vision and goals will help you to focus more on activities that help you get there faster. Question number two, will this help move my business forward? Being an entrepreneur is easy, really easy to go down the rabbit hole of Google searches, to chase yet another shiny thing. Oh my God, look, there's a squirrel. <laughs> you can seem busy, but not productive. Knowing when to say no is the most important business asset that I have. Now ask yourself, how will doing this activity impact my business to move forward? It can be tempting to learn yet another course on social media, marketing, or sales funnels, but overlearning is also a form of procrastination. 
But if your priority goal this month is to come up with a valuable offer to sell, and you're in the crossroad of choosing to spend time watching a Udemy course on copywriting, or getting on more discovery calls to learn more about what your clients need and will buy, I would choose the latter. Do the real work and create activities that help you answer your most immediate questions about your business. It takes self-awareness to know you're diverting from the work you need to get done, and more so, a keen understanding of why you want to pursue the alternative. Question number three, will this help me grow? Identifying what is worth your time and energy is not easy for anyone to do. I want you to start asking yourself if the activities you're blocking time off for in your schedule is simply helping you grow. Even if it feels challenging, and by the way, anything new you do will always feel challenging, but that challenge may be something you need to do because you know it will make you more knowledgeable, upskill you to be a better entrepreneur, or enhance your abilities to be better at your business. So monitor if your activities are keeping you stuck in a place where it feels sort of familiar, but it doesn't propel you forward. For example, Netflix after dinner or gossip calls with friends that are over an hour long. Or is the activity enhancing you as a human in your goals? For example, joining a meetup with entrepreneurs to gain ideas or creating accountability time with a buddy to get your work done. Each hour you spend on something should have a purpose that you can stand behind, not just a familiar habit that you're used to doing from the past. All right, so today I wanna to gift you with a one-page template that's called the Daily Activity Planner. And I wanna walk you through it. You can download it for free. Um, either at the bottom of the description here, uh, or if you're on my blog, you will see it uh, to be downloaded there. But you can download this, you can print it out, you can type right on it. Uh, it's uh, designed so that you can type right on it if you'd like to. Uh, and you wanna choose whatever day, put the date on the top there, and then a daily theme. Now, if you watch my video before this one, it talks a lot about theme days and time blocking. You might wanna go back to that video. I'll put it on the cards in the description as well for you to watch that video about the importance of theme days in order to stop multitasking and stop context switching, which can cause you to lose about 40% of your productivity and focus on consistent, same patterned activities that will use that side of your brain most often so that you can actually get more done and it'll actually not deplete your focus and attention when you try to do everything in the same theme. Right, so a theme, for example, could be uh, a social media day, right, where you're only doing things related to social media posts, and then it keeps your brain there. Or maybe it's a writing day when you're writing a blog or micro essays for your social media channels, and you want to get in the mode of writing, and you do all your writing activities in one day. So it's really important to choose a theme. And then I want you to go into your daily priority matrix section here on the left-hand side, right? You see here, there's this column here is the do column, right? Urgent and important. Uh, the side column is not urgent, but important. And then the left side column here on the delegate column is not important, but urgent. And then lastly, the delete column, which is not important and not urgent at all. Okay, so when you think about the list of things or your checklist or your to-do list, I want you to put those tasks in these buckets in order to know what to prioritize and what you're actually gonna be spending time on. So it's okay to do a little bit of a brain dump to begin with, to be able to just get it out on paper and then start assigning what priorities you wanna put them in. So the urgent and important column here for do it now are things that are maybe time sensitive, there's a deadline to submit something or there's client work that has to be done in a certain amount of time and that might be where you focus your energy to start. So you wanna get all this, all the columns or all the tasks that you put in this column done first before you move into anything else. The secondary priority column is the important but not urgent. So you can decide, right? It's something that I can do later or I can plan for. So when you sit down to do these tasks, it may look like that you're planning out. So let's say you have a blog coming up next week. So it's important for you to do that blog, but it's not urgent. It's not time sensitive. You might do some planning around it. How do I plan out my outline for my blog? And then later, maybe in a couple of days, move it to the urgent and important column because you're actually going to start doing it. Okay, that makes sense. So it can be planning, could be doing it later. The third most priority column is the delegation column where you might outsource some of the work. So it's not important, but it's urgent. So for example, if you're doing a video blog like this one, uh, you know that there's some editing involved. So it is urgent because you need the video blog out, but it's not as important for your time perhaps to be doing it. Maybe you're not good at it, it takes up too much time. 
that might be a clue that you should outsource it. That might be maybe finding out, going on Fiverr, going on a freelancer site and just outsourcing that task so that it does get done, but it's not important for your energy to get it done. And then lastly, also a very important column, the delete column. What is not important and not urgent? An example of that could be that you might have found a cool course that you might want to take. Maybe you didn't buy it and you're like, oh, I haven't started that course yet. But it doesn't, it, it maybe it's not the right course to be finishing right now according to what are some of the things that you want to move a need, the, the needle for, for in your business, right? So if it's like a marketing course, but really right now you're in a market research, research offer creation stage of your business, maybe marketing needs to be done some, some time later, right? And so it might not be important, it would not be urgent, and that should be eliminated off your list. Now you can put that in a parking lot somewhere, right? You can create a list for that, but it's not something you want to put on your schedule. So learning how to use this daily matrix, right? To kind of just put some food for thought in your activities, know what is uh, urgent, uh, you know, thing that you need to actually focus your hours on, uh, and then right prioritizing based on importance and urgency is going to be uh, really beneficial for you to start deciding right on your to do list and actually just picking two or three things an hour to really feel complete when you're done that. The next thing is on the right column here, block and sprint activities. So I usually can do about one to three things per hour right? Especially if they're in the same theme. Uh, and so you can choose right from your urgent important column here, right? In your do column, what are one to three activities that you want to do that can maybe take up about 20 minutes of your time, right? So you can block some time for yourself. So it's 20 minutes to be able to write the outline for my blog, right? And maybe the next 20 minutes is, um, you know, write the script for my intro and the body points. And then the last 20 minutes could be, um, you know, to film the intro for it, right? So make sure that it's small time blocks, but you can sprint on those activities. So by the end of that hour, you're going to feel like you really got traction in completing some of those tasks. Some other great things to use here is a daily log. So once you've finished completing your assignments for the day, what happened? What did you learn? It could be really helpful to note that down so that if you learned a way to do something faster, maybe you created a template or maybe you need it to create some sort of a process or a checklist for yourself next time, then and it could you know hasten the process, could be uh, faster for you to complete this particular task again. Write that down as a clue for you to create some templates, right? Or uh, systems around so that you don't have to spend more time on it the next time. And really important here is also energy management. You know, in that day, how, how would you rate your mental focus, your physical energy, your emotional energy, uh, your nourishment, which is, could be like your nutrition, you know, or joy that you felt that day? And how are your relationships doing that day? Sometimes as you sort of measure that and, and keep track of that, you can start to think that if you didn't have a productive day, there's a reason for that, right? There could be other things, right, besides your time management uh, that is affecting your productivity and where are those areas that you can uh, make some mindfulness actions to improve on, okay? So I hope you enjoy using this um, daily activity planner that I've gifted to you, uh, and it's very easy to use, and I think it's going to help you create some boundaries, create some focus uh, to get more done in less time. I hope that you've enjoyed learning the process of how to make decisions to know what to prioritize your focus in order to achieve your goals much faster. And I also hope that you use the tool that I'm gifting over to you that you can download for free uh, to be able to use as your daily activity planner and make sure that your energy and your time and every hour that you focus on your business really is purposeful and productive right? As the sign behind me says, focus looks good on you. Now, I would love to hear from you by commenting below the video. You can tell me what was your biggest takeaway and aha moment from today's video. I would love to learn what that is for you. Uh, and thank you again for spending time with me today. Uh, and I'll see you next week.